Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the Hive Hound. And today, I'm going to bring you a little surprise. Yes, we're going to talk about the Sean Hose 43. Of course, it's here, why wouldn't we? But, but, secondarily, secondary, secondary, secondarily? I, I forget words sometimes, okay? Don't mock me. <laughs> um, I accept your challenge bring it on spartan <laughs> as you uh, as you're all aware um our good buddy spartan uh he's seen our video on the navarine uh navarine navarine and threw down the gauntlet spartan wants to 1v1 me in the atlantico i think the atlantico is gonna win <laughs> don't get me wrong but i'm curious to find out <laughs> so um just publicly announcing it here bring it on let's go let's do it um no doubt we'll have a chat over the weekend we'll sort out the finer points whether it'll be a video uh, or maybe we'll do a little stream together or something um who knows but check that out i'm sure both of us are going to cover it i'm pretty sure it is going to be damn entertaining but whilst we're on that note spartan i see you there um basically a day or two ago i was playing sean host i was like why cool cool i've got the grips with it I love the Sean Host. So the Sean Host 43 is like second nature uh, to me. And then I seen, I was like checking out what other videos people were putting out. I seen Zarkoon put a review out. I seen Spartan. And I was like, oh, I'm going to check out Spartans because that looks quite long. And it was 10 minutes of Spartan going, well, it's not. Well, folks, it's not an American battleship. <laughs> Sorry. Terrible Spartan oppression. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, and I was just like, well, but Spartan, come on, you, you Spartan was complaining about the turret traverse, the turret traverse of what is it, like twenty something seconds, I think it was. I I forget these things. Um, yeah, tw 20, 24, uh, 25 second, one hundred and eighty degree turret turn time. That's ten seconds faster than the Buffalo. Which is a cruiser with 203 millimeter guns. <laughs> um, what else was it? What else was it that was terrible about it? Basically, it, yeah, it's not American. It was like the um, that was the other one. That was the other big one I noticed. He was like, Spartan was like, it's got an 800 meter turning radius, which is terrible because Iowa is only 900, and this thing's supposed to be little. And Massachusetts is like 710, and it's like, yeah, yeah, okay, and. Buffalo is 850. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's got better turret traverse and better maneuverability than an American cruiser. <laughs> so, yes, it is a little battleship. Just to point out, a little, obviously, this is just jokes between me and Spartan. Um, I absolutely, absolutely enjoyed uh, Spartan's review. I want to team up with Spartan and stream with Spartan because somehow every single game... <laughs> <laughs> seems to be full of absolute potatoes <laughs> i have never seen so many blowouts in all my life i don't know i don't know if it's the spartan effect if everyone's like oh my god they're spartan let's try and kill them and then his rest of his team just get to run away with it and absolutely slap everyone it could be it could be maybe it's something about time zones and what time they play who knows and that's what we'd like to find out. So, basically, a um, few differences between the Sean Host and the Sean Host 43. Uh, you have mod slot 4, which means my artillery reloads 0 0.2 seconds faster than the tier 6 version. Yes, okay, I get it. It's not great. <laughs> but that's the, that's, the, that's the sort of the beauty about the Sean Host. It's like, it does all this whilst having these seemingly lackluster guns uh, yeah the, uh, the guns aren't big they're not particularly potent they don't do particularly high damage but you know what they're very bloody accurate right and they're very consistent and they they work it's damage over time over time over time uh the next thing survivability wise sean host 43 has uh, identical builds sixty-five thousand. i think sean host is uh 50 56 56 300 or 400 something like that i know it's less than 500 um so it's m marginally more hit points um i think it's like seven or eight thousand more 
uh, hit points. Uh, it is marginally faster, has a slightly better rudder. Uh, the torpedoes is the big thing. 45 second reload on the Sean Horst 43. I think it's 68 seconds on Sean Horst. So essentially, it's it's not entirely different from the Sean Horst. But do you know what it is entirely different from? Barton, are you listening? It's entirely different from an American battleship, <laughs> which is why people play it. And that's where the real change comes into it. Sean Horst 43 has a significantly improved secondaries. My build only goes out to 9.7. Um, that's because I tend to focus. Uh, I, I run like a hybrid build, so I run Franz von Hipper. We have Sean Horst and Cunningham to increase our accuracy and dispersion. Uh, I run Flammable Cannoneer, Joyry and Drill Bits, Marksman. Granted, okay, maybe I don't need reaching out. Maybe swap into properly meticulous isn't necessarily a bad thing. I don't know how much of a difference that makes to our uh, our secondaries. It just makes them reload a bit faster and makes them a bit more accurate. 9.7 kilometer firing range. You can get them up to about 11, maybe a little bit more, um, which I have done if you use hide instead as the commander and take all of the secondary perks. But like, uh, Sean Horst's guns aren't the greatest things in the world. And taking anything away from them, you're just punishing yourself. And you're setting yourself up for a failure, um, basically. Because it just, it's just not potent. <laughs> it's just not potent enough to sort of really stand on its own. Um, unlike the American bell ships. <laughs> well, hey, hey. <laughs> right. <laughs> enough. Enough mocking Spartan <laughs> and having fun. What we're going to do, we're going to dive right into a game. Um, I'm probably going to, I think I'm going to use a pre-recorded one. Uh, so my voice may sound slightly different. Uh, but let's jump into that and let's have a look at Sean Horse 43 in action. Uh, quick note before I do, honestly, Sean Horse 43, I'm just going to get it out of the way. I love it because I love the Sean Horse. It's a fun ship to play. I 100% understand why people don't love it. And I'm not going to lie. Like, if you get lucky, you get it out of a free crit. Then great. Good for you. I wouldn't go spending a lot of money on it. Because, like, if you've got the Brandenburg or the Odin already, they pretty much do the same thing. Arguably, the Brandenburg is, is a slightly better uh, all-round so it's not a ship that you need, and I wouldn't promote gambling to get it myself. Obviously, that's entirely up to you guys, that's your prerogative. So, with that said, let's get into the replay, and let's see how this goes. Right, okay, so, excuse the voice change, we are going to a pre-recorded battle, uh, just because I felt this one was pretty good, generally highlighted the strengths and some of the weaknesses of the Sean Horst 43. So we are going to dive in to this battle on north it's a domination match as you can see and yes there we are in the sean horse 43 sitting right over b cap as you can see we've got two dds on each team uh two cruisers a absolute plethora of destroyers because well hell it wouldn't be world of warships if it wasn't dominated by battleships definitely the player base's most favored class so how is this going to play out how is the sean horse 43 going to hold up against uh, all of its competition what the, a tentative start generally what i tend to do I, i'm hoping here that the enemy battleships are going to push C. It seems to be the the typical thing done. They seem to like having that uh, that shield of immunity from that large island, but it can uh, quite frequently lead them to leaving themselves completely open and completely broadside from uh, the B spawn. I'm pushing in. I basically, I'm trying to close the gap. Sean Horse guns are incredibly punchy short range but further out they're uh they're, 
they're less impactful. I have got He Chi loaded. I tend to start off with He Chi because, like I said, Sean Host 43's guns aren't the most potent, but they're pretty accurate. So at range, there we've got four shells hit on that Hawk. We've done four and a half thousand damage. Uh, we turn, we dodge pretty much all the incoming fire, and we have switched over to AP, and that's when we see a broadside Megami. Now, a broadside Megami to a Sean host is a victim as we dodge by slamming on the brakes and slowing down our, uh, our return salvo from the Hawk. The Megami turns out and dodges us, and that's when player number three enters the arena, which is the Flandre. Now, obviously, as you can see, my accompanying battleship has decided to go, yeah, nah, screw that. <laughs> I'm I'm out of you. I'm off home. I'm not uh, I'm not getting involved in the battle, and uh, has kind of left us uh, on our own. I do think it is a slight. It's a slightly unusual battle in the fact I think I've I don't think I've led I think I've led that Nagato too much. I think the Nagato was slowing down, but we will see when those shells hit. Those two battleships, as you can see, they they basically decided to ignore me. Um, because I primarily dodged their salvos, you know, the juice isn't worth the squeeze then. Are we going to be able to get a second shot off at this Nagato? We are. That looked to be aimed much better on my part. I don't think that rear turret is going to go over the island, but it was a worth a shot. And there we go. A reasonable hit. Uh, that scored us about 6k, and pretty sure that rear turret ended up... Uh, doing uh, very little but typical this is like typical for a battleship heavy game it is very standoffish as you can see the battleship that spawned with me and b is sitting way back um i doubt very much that they have the range to shoot anything uh, until maybe that bootsy and that knack to push round uh on a he will have a decent crossfire if they can push up but we do have a cruiser in the way so essentially he's a bit of a waste and he definitely doesn't have the range to fire at the flandre the hulk or the magami that we were having our little our little a little duel with earlier our cruiser does go down at a which to be honest you can be expected he's been pushed by a cruiser and a battleship that was also backed up by two battleships and a cruiser so the a side which is unusual is uh, is is weak which is exactly why i am making a b line for a there's a this is where all the action is going to happen and you know if if we don't step in and do something we're gonna get in circles Potentially, I think I think we're safe. I think A C is going to be one, but they're just going to push across into us as we score two juicy citadels on the uh, on the uh, Mogami. We take a couple of hits from the Flander and the uh, Hawk, and that's when surprise of all surprises, the Akatsuki turns up. Now the Akatsuki, I haven't put the. Uh, the secondary mod on, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. I had AP loaded, so we took we took a shot, we took a stab in the dark, we took a couple of hits. I think that was from the Flander. I think it's the only thing in position. But I would like to point out that that Magami, unless he's used his torp reload booster, only has one rack of torps because it's an Akatsuki, not an Akatsuki. Uh, so. I'm fairly confident that if we're quick and we push, we can catch them out. We have got high explosive loaded. We have got a ridiculous battery of secondary guns. Big hits. We take out his guns. We take out some of his other guns. Secondaries are now starting to do some work. I'm looking for torps. I'm going to fire a widespread, but too little, too late for the Akatsuki. Are, uh, and there, there's the reloaded torps, but I think we are just in time to safely dodge them. And then we send a nice high explosive salvo at the Flander. Cause two fires, obviously standard battleship plate, he puts them straight out. I am not bothered by that one bit because 
we have fairly potent secondaries <laughs> that are hopefully going to cause a fire of their own and another fire that's going to be permanent we can disengage and just wait for their hit points to melt down he does manage to score a fire on us which is a bit unfortunate there's the second one we're going to use our repair cooldown because we are out of uh, out of range and we haven't at this point got the hit points to spare to uh to essentially allow those fires to burn so as soon as we were safe we uh put in cooldown he is for, i i'm assuming that he knows that we have lots of torpedoes which is exactly why the Flander is rushing. The Abruzzi is sitting here, waiting for us on the corner. Now, I am acutely aware that Abruzzi does have torpedoes. We also have torpedoes, but I'm hoping not to give him the angle. I think he's already fired them by the fact that he's straightened back up. Uh, we try to punch him straight through the, uh, the mouth of the Abruzzi. The Abruzzi is kind of well armored uh surprisingly right he's he's turning wide now he's definitely that is a hundred percent torpedoes but we slow down we turn we dodge we get a torpedo hit ourselves um and finally do some damage with our main battery guns as we are slowly racking up he's got a flood so in all fairness we can this particular fight is won uh, question is whether our support in TD is going to get him or whether we are and it is in fact our flooding that takes him out. We come around the corner, Megami and Hawk available. Hawk is showing broadside. Hawk is a great ship but it is kind of weak on the side so we go for that and we score well well nothing uh, absolutely nothing and we take a, we take a reasonable chunk of return damage but we're gonna we're gonna get our secondaries uh working working all the time Magami's turning to shoot us he's giving us broadside 8.6 kilometers that's not even a question that's death and there that is good that is a, a so long and good night and that picks up our third kill and puts us just over a hundred thousand damage Flander has pretty much run for it now which is just leaving us and the hawk we're closer now we're within five kilometers 1700 from the main guns was i being a bit too cheeky ladies and gentlemen trying to punch for the citadel or should i have aimed higher and and gone for the consistent damage if you said you should have aimed higher and gone for the consistent damage you're probably right that's what we do with our next salvo which scores us 30,000 damage three citadel hits as our secondaries are still going hawk seems to be smart enough to understand that we have torpedoes i also understand that the hawk has torpedoes we're assuming he's going to keep on turning so we're going to fire our torps slightly wide we're going to take a, a shot at the superstructure score some damage and boom take him out and that is kill number four but yes i said the hawk had torpedoes the hawk has torpedoes he used one and that finishes off the game for us so you can see that was a good mix of torpedo damage main battery damage you can kind of see the strengths and weaknesses of the guns like you definitely want to be aiming for you know the upper half of the uh the main structure of uh, battleships in particular don't be aiming at the waterline to try and get citadels because the thicker armor it's not going to go through but when you get close in as you can see there's three citadels on the hawk they can be absolutely devastating um, armor wise as you can see like yes it does have a 26 millimeter bow but doesn't it also have like a 60 millimeter icebreaker just below that so you, your bow is weak but there is only a small section of it that's weak and as long as you keep it angled you're usually okay you can tend to get away with it um honestly like like i said personally i love the sean host i love the sean host 43 it is my kind of ship it kind of it definitely as you can see like we've done with the hawk if you can single out any single ship i doubt 
anything in tier seven is going to beat you in that in that one on one fight. But you need to you need to pick your battles. You need to dictate it. You only really want to go taking on one ship at a time. One ship at a time, you will just roll through the enemy. Um, Sean Horst and all the German battleships in offense really struggle when you're fighting multiple ships and particularly multiple ships at range. So pick your engagements with Sean Horst 43 and you are 100% going to have a fun time. Even without having the secondary, uh, sorry, secondary, the anti-torpedo boat armament uh, <laughs> booster on, we still got 110 secondary hits. One of those secondary hits did also happen to take out a DD that got too brave, too bold, and too stupid all at the same time, which uh, obviously went in our favour. Let me have a look. And like I said, talking about like barn burners and like, um, sorry, blowouts, <laughs> um, like, like in Spartans, like it's down. It's two versus one into the final three minutes of the match. Yes, we've got a points lead. Yes, we probably would have already have won if I'd slowed down <laughs> and taken A. Um, but all all in all, um, that seemed to be a pretty good battle uh, right across the board. And in all fairs, we're just sitting here kind of waiting for the... Uh, for the old timer to run out we're going to check out what the last few ships are doing fletcher spots the enemy dd enemy dd smokes up i don't know why you're in the last two minutes of the game there's absolutely nothing you can do from your position fletcher it's yeah smoke screen smoke screen is obviously a magnet for torpedoes is the dd going to be smart enough to have gotten the hell out of there or are they going to sit there in the smoke and proceed to get uh, absolutely bum rushed? And oh, I flick out, and there he is. He spotted Sean picking him up and pop game set and match. The battle is over. Thank you very much to my team for not being complete potatoes. It was very nice. We made 721,000, picked up a 3,100 base XP game with four kills. So thank you very much for stopping by. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Spartan, if you're there, put up your dukes because we're coming for you. <laughs> and of course, until next time, take care.